Hi. Hi, ladies. I want to talk to you about something, man, something so fascinating. And um, I really hope it can uh, help you a little bit dealing with people who are pretty dominant. Maybe you know someone and uh, maybe you're even in a position where you have to tell that person and it doesn't matter if it's a, if it's a guy or a gal to do something for you and uh, maybe you have a hard time doing that and I want to tell you about um, a horse I just I was just working with just uh, just a couple of days ago um, you know I'm a horse trainer and I uh, I'm focused so we're pretty much focused on uh, teaching horses to go into a trailer into a horse trailer and there's a lot of horses out there man they are they're like really traumatized they're troubled they're like I don't do horse trailers you know so it's quite challenging just just um, it's quite challenging for both for the owner and for the horse now just the other day I had this horse his name was Amani and Amani was a horse he's uh, I would say he belongs to that category Buffalo Buffalo you know one of these guys where they use their strength against you they run over the top of you they ignore you they they just it's kind of like my way or the highway kind of horse you know and when you're working with a horse like that you can imagine when you have a challenge like a horse trailer it's pretty impossible to do that right because they they're just not on your page and the question is how do you get a horse and how do you get a person like that on your page? How do you do that? Now I tell you what, what people do and what happens usually, especially ladies. Now, before I was just um, trying to be nice, right? I told them like, would you maybe consider going close to the trailer, maybe putting a foot on the ramp, maybe kind of like that. And he looked at me like, "What are you talking about? I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand you. Uh, I'm, I'm out of here. I, I don't get what you're saying." And he was out literally. He, he pulled the lead rope right through my hands, and he was just galloping. I don't know about a mile, half a mile to his stable, which was not too nice. But he was like, "I am not working with you." Now. When we picked him up again, I had to think about my, my approach. So I thought, you know what, I think I used the wrong language here. Because I was talking my language and he's talking Buffalo language. So this time I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to talk in your language. Lady, man, this is amazing stuff. I cannot tell you how fast that horse changed. And when I say change, it doesn't even hit it. Because we're talking really big, fat transformation. In, in a very short period of time. When I started talking Buffalo language with him, he was like, okay, okay. He was awake. He was getting on my page. And it was the moment he switched. Like when we were in this connection, everything changed, really. And Man, I, I, I really want to want to share with you the end when the owner when she loaded Armani that horse it was like there was no trouble there was no stress there was no aggression there was no I'm out of here it was all like what can I do what can I do I want to show you what I can do that was like amazing if you if you ask me how 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 is it supposed to look like when a horse walks into a trailer I would have showed you that scene I said this is the way it's supposed to look like and all we did was we didn't beat the horse up no because I'm against that we just talked Buffalo and Buffalo might be the language that you need to use too with your people it's all about clarity okay it's actually just being clear it's about setting boundaries healthy boundaries it's like this is a yes and this is a no and, and, and the moment I said that and became so clear, that horse was also clear. And then there was respect. And then after a very short time, this horse started to trust me. And he did things that you would have never thought that he would ever do. And like I said, 
he did the very same thing for that lady, for the owner, and she was really close to tears, I can tell. Anyway, um, I just want to tell you that when you are a woman like me, I used to be very, very introverted. I still am uh, more observing than doing, more hiding than showing up. And it was very easy to intim intimidate me because I would not sta take a stand. I would not c claim my space. And the horses have really taught me that, thank God. <laughs> Otherwise, I couldn't tell you this stuff, right? And it's amazing what happens when you do it. And I know it's hard in the beginning to do that because it's kind of like against your nature, right? But if you do it a couple of times, it will become easier and easier and it will feel familiar. Yeah. Plus, you will see the reactions in others because what you're doing over time will change the energy inside of you. Like when you come to a place, people notice something is different. They feel there's clarity, there is peace, there is um, there's this serene state and this calm inside of you and they will react to it. And you don't even have to say anything. This is what happens. That's what you radiate. And this is what I want you to, to know. Forget about polite. Forget about being nice all the time. Forget about being perfect, gentle, sweet. Forget that. You are all of that anyway, okay? But there's moments and there's situations they ask for. They yearn for your clarity, okay? So don't be shy. Use what you have to use and get your point across and then man things will really start to shape up that was my little story for you today i'd love to know your story if you know someone like that a buffalo type and what you've done and if that what i tell you if that helps or makes sense to you so please leave a comment below i love to hear it and uh, one of the next videos i'm going to talk to you about different types it's also quite fascinating. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and take care.